Well, first of all, I, I want to make sure we say to the Stillwater Chamber how much we appreciate uh, their recognizing uh, all individuals who are part of making agriculture strong in Payne County. We've, we've served the rural area for nearly 75 years now. We're celebrating our 75th anniversary this year. So um, we, were, we feel honored to receive this award. You know, I, I have the privilege of working with some great board of trustees and, and an employee group that I believe second to none. And so uh, I, I would say that, that really the, the basis for winning the award starts with those folks who make it happen every day I, that I get the privilege to work with. But, uh, you know, I, right now CREC has been doing a lot <clears throat> in the last, you know, 10 years to try to position the cooperative in a way that meets the challenges that are coming our way. Uh, there's significant challenges that our industry is facing and so we have taken a number of initiatives to address those challenges, uh, ultimately to try to make certain that we meet the, the expectations of our members, which is uh, affordable rates and reliable service. And a lot of the things that are coming our way threaten uh, those two very uh, key uh, mission, missions of the cooperative to provide affordable rates and reliable service. And so a number of things we've, we've put in place uh, just recently is, as I think everyone saw, we, we've started an, a program with the Oklahoma State University called the National Energy Solutions Institute and Smart Energy Source, which really is all about how do we, uh, as an industry, do a better job of collaborating with everyone who's involved, find ways to bring together you know, collective intelligence from everyone so that we can bring about solutions that ultimately are solutions that benefit our members and continue to position the cooperative in a very strong, strong way. Uh, Central Electric Cooperative is probably one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing cooperative in the state of Oklahoma uh, and perhaps even in the nation right now when you think about the load growth that we're experiencing here uh, at Central Rural. And, and we're talking about possibly doubling our size in the next few years in regards to just overall growth with the oil and gas sector. And that's why I think that, it, you know, sometimes it's important to step back and say that not only uh, are you proud of what the employees have done, but to see the growth that continues to happen with so much of the leadership here at Central Rural that we're fortunate to have.